Hello YouTube, this is Nav67 and I'm bringing you an SH Figuarts Masked Rider review. This time we've got Masked Rider Sawsword. I know you guys thought I was going to do some more G.I. Joe reviews. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I got the G.I. Joes because I felt really bad that I was about to do five Kamen Rider reviews without going back to what I started with here on YouTube. Um, but I'm back to what I really want to do, which is these SH Figuarts. And um, I got Sawsword. Standard packaging. Do 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 figure. All right, moving on. Here he is. We've got the scorpion themed common rider saw sword. Um, I kind of feel like they just ran out of steam once we got to these last two riders. Um, which is a shame because actually saw sword would have translated into a really cool figure if they took the time to do it. They kind of just flopped with it. I think they just got tired of doing these guys, but. He does have his sword, and here's what I talk about. For his accessory, he gets a sword, that doesn't disappoint, but, you know, in the show, this could pop out, and then you hit it back in, and that would activate his, um, his satsu attack, the rider slash, it doesn't do anything. It's, it's a prop piece. Although it looks wicked cool. Um, unfortunately, his armor kind of gets in the way of posing him, though. Because he does have a shoulder, and it is a separate piece, but for some reason, it seems to fight him. Um... As for articulation, it's the standard SH figure arts articulation that I love so much. This double ball jointed elbow, double jointed e um, elbow. It's got this double hip, double jointed knee, metal in the ankles, along with the ankle swivel, midsection, the double neck. Although this neck is really nice, it seems to be tougher, a lot more solid than the other ones. There's kind of interesting head design. I always thought that this should come like forward, but. That is how it is in the show, so it's hard to argue. And there, look, he's got the three dot for his red shoe systems with that awesome eye detail, that double layering of plastic to get that bug look. This awesome purple metallic finish. Look at all this detail that's really in this figure, which does make him so cool. Because Sawsword had a lot of added detail, just kind of based on his design. And he can supposedly hold the sword. We just take it out. You're supposed to be able to just put it in. Oh, not really working for me. I like him holding the sword. And then he does come with the standard set of hands. He's got displayed open fists. He's got, well, displayed open hands. Can't really be displayed open fist. He's got fist, and he's got the weapon carrying hands. Two of each. He's got a total of six hands that you can choose from. I'm not going into all the massive effort of showing you the hands because I've done so in other videos. I'm not going to keep babying this. But there he is. Um, I like him. Probably only recommended if you're a completionist or if you love Sawsword's character. Which I'm not sure about because actually in the show Sawsword was really cool when he first showed up and then he became nothing more than um, comic relief right up until his closing story arc which actually was an awesome story arc. And if he'd kind of kept maybe something like that up through the whole series, he would have been a way cool character, but instead for 90% of the series that he took part in, he was comic relief. With the last 10% being 5% split between when he first showed up, where he was way cool, and 5%, which is his closing storyline. I don't want to ruin any spoilers, so I won't give it to you. But he's got this awesome closing storyline. But that should tell you what happens. It's a closing storyline which happens about two episodes before the final, so there you go. There's my spoiler without actually spoiling it because I didn't say it, haha. -ha. But there he is. Um, got this guy from Hobby Link Japan. And um, this was the first time I actually paid for the um, EMS shipping, so the express shipping. And it got to me in four days. That amazes me. But here he is. I give him a 9 out of 10, and I'm signing out, YouTube.